Today's telecast is presented live from Baltimore Scaryland and we're at B&D Spank Stadium for today's game. The stadium is sold out and the atmosphere is electric. The fans want to see some hard-hitting carnage, <laughs> and so do I. I heard the city was famous for crabs, so if you get lucky tonight, Grim, make sure you take a shampoo with that quill lotion and see a doctor. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Baltimore Razors. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. down and the punter is warming up oh and that's how you play defense well, of course he he could have had an interception returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game but i don't want to nitpick nice punt should move them back nicely and he snags the punt and looks for open field Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And it's first and ten. All week, the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Second down and ten. play and out comes the most underrated position in football the mighty punter and he booted a high arcing rainbow nice catch and he oh and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out Two. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. 
One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Bring up third and one. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit! And that'll be second down and four. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Third down and a sliver. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. That's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two. Sam Schwann Galaxy phone.
was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Not one. Not two. He's hit the 40. He's hit the 30. The 20. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these reps any ideas, you idiot. Crap, hide the stash. Got it. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Second down, the side. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, 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 I got bingo, Grim. Second down to two. Hot, hot one, hot two. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Hey. And he misses that extra point. Oh, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. Probably why he missed. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, three. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. It's a first down from a great... Oh, holy mother! 
Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Hot one, hot two, hot three. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Third down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. Smart man, Bricks. Very smart. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. He's at the 10, and they're catching up. Jump, jump, do something. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. You have got to be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beef boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. No running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hey! Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. He could go all the way. He's at the 30. 
He's at the 20, the 10, touchdown! The ref calls a penalty. You know, the NFL to eliminate almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks, you guys suck. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Oh, I love this dirty trick. Feet by Fofa. Stop him into the... Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hey. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is... I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the ice cream. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. First and ten. Hot one. Hot. And the defense. When the defense calls thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And he took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. Just wanted it more and got it. He's at the 40. The 30. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. Why is it that no one can score in this league without showboating? Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Pow! With the brain scrambler. First and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. The offense is down to their last running back. 
When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, then. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Second down and a... And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Oh, what a brutal hit. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Well, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And I don't want to see the comment section on that replay of the kick. Yeesh, that was terrible. Yeah, he's going to get the right fungal treatment after that miss. Hot, hot one. Hot two, this guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he, he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. Third quarter about to begin here, and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Bricks started farting like a 4th of July fireworks finale. Yeah. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turn on the one... Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback tight spiral. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? First and ten. All week the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Second down and ten. the greatest. No, you didn't see it. <laughs> Third down and the punter is warming up. They'll be washing bloody footprints off the defense's jerseys after a run like that. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. 
He just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look out. And that hit jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Second down and nine. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. face with a shovel, Graham? I have. And trust me, the hit that guy just took was worse. And it's first and ten. Not, not one, not First and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! <laughs> they want more points, so they're going for two. Turn after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Great catch! 
for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Third and four. Let me tell you, getting shot is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. And it's first and ten. Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> and then, my friends, is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for them. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, it's probably evident to step Hey, Bricks, you were hit more than a few times like that in your career. 140 times to be exact, and one game to be more exact. During one play to be more and more exact. It wasn't even a game, actually. Coach just laid into me on the sidelines. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. His big ass will probably show up. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell when you get knocked down you got to get right back up and fight and what about when you get knocked up what do you do then run First and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. And that's a great nine yard comp. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Second down and more than the QB would like. Leaving it all out on the field today. And there's
Sanders is boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? to make a comeback in the final quarter. Stop, literally. <laughs> oh, man. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Can't tell if this is a seizure or a celebration. <laughs> Either way, the fans are loving it. here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond oh what a punishing hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember. Razors lose the game by forfeit. And as you know, Bricks, forfeit is the ancient Latin word for an ass kicking. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. 
They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.